In this video, we will learn about the different phases of an annular solar eclipse. During an annular eclipse, the moon blocks the sun, but not completely. From Earth, the moon does not appear big enough to block out the sun entirely. The eclipse begins with first contact. At first contact, the moon appears to touch the sun. The sun appears as a glowing white disk against a black background. Near the side of the sun, a small curved area appears missing from the sun's perfect circle shape. This missing area is the moon as it begins to creep in front of the sun, slowly starting to block out some of the sun's light. It appears like the moon is taking a small bite out of the sun. Usually, the moon's deep craters make the moon appear rough. But now, the sun's light is so bright that it makes all of the moon's features disappear. This causes the moon to appear black and smooth like glass. In this stage, the moon has moved in front of the sun. The moon appears to be a completely black disk and the sun's light shines only at the edges of the moon in a thin C-shape or crescent. It's possible that a phenomenon called Bailey's beads might also briefly blink into view. Bailey's beads looks like a few glowing pearls found at the ends of the sun's crescent shape. Bailey's beads are caused by sunlight shining through deep valleys on the moon. After Bailey's beads disappear, a ring of light will start to appear. The moment this phase starts is called second contact. It may be tempting, but you should never look at Bailey's beads or the ring of light with your eyes or a telescope. You must wear special eye protection during all stages of an annular eclipse. Annularity is now happening. At this point, the sun appears to be a very bright ring of fire rather than its usual glowing ball of light. This is because the dark black moon has moved to block the center of the sun and the sun's light glows around the circular edge of the moon. As a result, the sun's light resembles a glowing letter O. This O shape is known as an annulus in mathematics. The word annular means little ring in Latin. This is why this type of eclipse is called an annular eclipse. During an annular eclipse, the moon obscures all but this outer ring of the sun. This ring will only appear for a few minutes because the sun, moon, and earth are still slowly moving. Remember, never look directly at the sun during an annular eclipse with a telescope or your eyes. You need to wear special eclipse glasses if you want to look at an eclipse. Otherwise, severe eye damage can occur. The annular phase is ending. The moon is slowly creeping away from the center of the sun. As the dark circular moon blocks less of the sun's bright light, the sun's fiery ring of light slowly transforms back into a C shape. Depending on your location, Bailey's beads might be visible again. Bailey's beads appear like glowing pearls at the ends of the sun's glowing crescent. It is still not safe to look at the sun with your eyes or a telescope. You must wear special eye protection, like official eclipse glasses, to look at the sun during all stages of an annular eclipse. The annular eclipse is ending. The moon is slowly moving completely out of the sun's way. As the moon moves, it looks like it's taking smaller and smaller bites out of the sun. At this point, only a small section of the sun is blocked by the moon. Soon, the moon will no longer be blocking any of the sun's light. Fourth contact is the end point of the annular eclipse, when the moon's edge moves past the sun's edge and no longer blocks any part of the sun's light. This video was created by the Eclipse Soundscapes Citizen Science Project team at Arisa Lab. You can stay updated on the Eclipse Soundscapes project by following us on social media at Eclipse Soundscapes on Facebook and Instagram 
and at Eclipse Sound UDL on Twitter.